The fall had started a wee bit late this year, and the days were getting shorter. With the change of season, something else was changing at my home. I just, hello, that's okay, that's okay. After a few days of hearing these noises, I started investigating. There was something off. I could feel it. Juan, your robot is stuck again on the rug. I wish you gave me even half the attention that you gave to that robot. Don't listen to her. Could she be behind this? I needed to get my facts right. My worst fears came back chasing me. Am I cursed? Is it that I can't have a vacuum cleaner that lasts? Am I doomed to only make videos about vacuum cleaners? Maybe I should find a new name, like Juan de Vacuum or Juan de Cleaner, I don't know. I think I'm starting to lose the plot. What could I do? Hello everyone, welcome to Juan de Man. I hope you liked the little introduction that I did for the video. I was feeling a little bit inspired. If you have never seen my channel, you are very lucky. I'll attempt to fix a vacuum cleaner. For everyone else, I'm deeply sorry. I promise I have a very good excuse. My Nito D7 died just a year and a half after I bought it. What does this mean? Well, if you have one and you didn't buy it anywhere near Europe, it means that you will be spending a lot of money. I find it a wee bit frustrating when appliances die either before or quickly after the warranty period expires. Sometimes it can be a sign that something is wrong inside them. So what could I do? The thing I love the most. I did surgery. As a disclaimer, there is a lot of ranting on this video. Without hesitation, let me show you what I found when I opened it. All right, here we are opening this baby that has some strange noises. Um, we're gonna get to this lovely wheel that is the one doing the noises and see if we can if we can improve a little bit and if we can make this baby work again. Me, 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 me. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, interesting. So if we put this wheel back there. I took a, a few of the pieces out and all the screws just to see if I could figure out a little bit more. So that is a terrible, terrible noise, which is a classic noise for a gear, not doing the right job or not being correctly positioned. Yeah, that's the one. And that is what it looks like. This, if you see how it moves, it looks like, um, it, it, it no longer has a grip over this gear right here. And unfortunately, that is a, a problem. And that is a problem because this is a, this is a, this is this, the type of thing that kind of pissed me off a little bit. This is a very, very expensive uh, vacuum cleaner. And this is a very, very cheap gear made with plastic and this is a wheel that sustains a very strong very strong tension like uh, this wheel should be a, should be capable of uh, um, of lifting the whole vacuum and take it out of wherever it has been stuck so it, 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 it goes through a lot of tension and this this is quite a powerful motor for it and it looks like if you see here it looks like that is plastic. So basically, the the this side of the wheel has has um, eroded this plastic, so that it, it is no longer in a position in, in which it's stable enough to hold it. Where are you going, motor? And um, so we're gonna have to reprint one of these, but uh, make it way stronger. There's not much that we can do other than extend a little bit the diameter. Oh, moving. Oh, moving again. Extend a little bit the diameter of this uh, of these sections so that it has a little bit more of grip. But unfortunately, given the design of this of this um, 
uh, will, it looks like eventually this is going to go give up. And um, and you can, uh, if we put this, can we see the road in? Yeah, you can see. So this is supposed to be a nice round hole, probably better in that way. If you see here, you can see that it has been deformed already. So this is gonna keep happening like forever unless um, I don't know like you make a, a metallic version of this I don't know if that's even worth it but anyway I'll try to see if I can print a new design and and put it together and see if it works better obviously we will need a replacement for the gear that broke so wait wait Instead of fast forwarding how to design the piece I needed, I thought that there was no value in showing you a speed up process while, you know, I attempt to quickly brush over what I did. So instead, I created a detailed video where you can get more familiar with how Fusion 360 works if you are interested. There will be a link somewhere around here. Which reminds me that if you're going to keep receiving notifications about this nonsense that I keep posting, feel free to subscribe to the channel. All right, I need to stop saying that, seriously. So this is the new piece. It's uh, the same, basically. Uh, I made it a little bit thicker. I'm not sure if you will appreciate that on camera. I made this section a little bit thicker with the hope that it will, it will actually work. And I also made the gear slightly bigger so that it has a little bit more of a grip over this one, because this one is already a little bit, uh, the dents are already a little bit um, not in the best shape. But worst case scenario, I can print one like this, design one, much more colorful, much better color, obviously, and probably use some TPU here and uh, use a, a, a stronger grip or a bigger, bigger gear dents gear teeth that I can use to make sure that, that this one will have the correct grip. But let's try it. I'm a little bit concerned that I printed it too big, too thick, and it will actually create more erosion. Oh, that's, that looks, it looks, looks pretty good, yeah. And let me see if I put this in here. Okay, hmm, that was a jump. So, this direction is working mostly fine. Let me put some screws and we can try again. Um, this is it with all the screws on. And it goes what well, it looks better. It makes slightly different noise, also concerning, but um, I think we're gonna try with this and see if our baby behaves better. Please! You have to, you have to survive to this. Anyway, after a few attempts and many failed prints, I managed to bring a piece that kind of worked for some time, but it didn't last long. After a few days, the unwelcome noise came back. Unfortunately, the black cover that was holding the gears and acting as a bearing continued gaining some looseness. I just wish they added some form of bearing to it, but for some reason they didn't. At this stage, I think the only thing that we can do is to replace the gearbox completely. The case, the gears, and probably the motor too. A motor that works like a charm, which, by the way, has a metallic pinion. I wonder why. What I'm trying to say is that no matter how many times you replace a problematic piece, it will always break again. And this makes me sad. How is it possible that a machine that contains high quality hardware made to last over a decade uses plastic made gears. It's not even about the gears. Any type of varying will have prevented this from happening. I don't have much experiences with gearboxes, but those I worked with before that were required to last for a long time under high stress uses some form of bearings. Any. I mean, the worst quality pair of metal gears with some form of bearings that you can find in the market could probably last the 10 years that the rest of the hardware might do. If you were to find yourself in this situation, the average user, including my own me, will simply just ditch it and buy a new one.
Once you have a taste of a robot Hoover, you don't want to go back to a manual hoovering, I'm afraid. But the environmental and sustainability footprints that comes from replacing such a device is quite big, especially considering that most of the parts of the Hoover are still in good working order. Lucky me, Nito's customer service was very efficient and they accepted the RMA when I sent it and I fixed the robot. In fact, I just received the fixed version. What should I do? Maybe I should just let it be and it will keep working. Oh, of course, I opened it. I needed to see if by any chance need to replace the component with a better engineered one. Uh, I'm going to open it. We're going to check if uh, the new piece has any any improvements based on the on the old piece. And we're going to compare them and uh, and get some thoughts on it. You can see that the color of this wheel and this wheel are already different. So this is this is a new one and this is a new one, which means that they they replace the whole arm. We'll see. We'll see what we get when we open this. So this is the new part. You can see that it looks pretty neat. Not scratches, a little bit of dust, but I think that is from the first test that I did. And we're gonna open it and figure out if it is a complete new one, if it uh, if they have reused some of the pieces on it. Let's open it. Another screw. This is the wheel out. Ha! Huh. Okay, something has changed in here. We can see that there is a lot more um, silicon, silicon loof. This is very useful when you have um, when you have uh, plastic made. Um, by the way, this is a little bit of hair for my dog. When you have plastic made gears, it helps a lot to 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 avoid the erosion. This fits like um, like a glove perfectly, which means that they probably changed the whole thing. Let's keep going. Screws out. Right. Does it open now? Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So this is the new mechanism. You see that the motor one has a metallic pin in, which is what you usually do when you want something to last. But the other two are still plastic base. This one goes in here, and unfortunately, this piece and this one here, they are going to end up eroding itself. The, the funny thing, the funny part, is that that there looks like a slot for a tiny little bearing. And there is another one in there. Can you see them? Why isn't there a, a bearing? You can see that this lot is slightly bigger than the than the thickness of this. Why isn't there a bearing? I have no idea. I have no clue. I don't know if if that was easy, even designed for a bearing, but it looks like it. Oh, no, not like that. It goes in here, and then this one goes like this. It's a pity that they didn't didn't change the the design at all. It's um. It's going to fail exactly the same way that this one failed. There is a lot more silicon loop. Maybe that is something that helps. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully that should make it last a little bit longer. Anyway, conclusions. I got my robot working again, but not for the right reasons. They improved the mechanism, adding the silicone grease, which should make it more durable. I still need to apply the same type of silicone on the other wheel if I don't want it to die post guarantee. Otherwise, future me will be required to pay the replacement after the guarantee expires. Would I buy a Nito again? I don't know. As customers, we have the power to drive change. We can choose to support companies that prioritize sustainability rather than those that prioritize short-term profits at expenses of our planet. It is time for us to demand more from the companies that we give our money to. We need to demand devices that are built to last and that can be easily repaired and recycled when they do eventually reach the end of their life cycle. Companies like Framework and Prime Computers are good examples of them. By making these choices, we can create a future where all technology serves us, rather than us serving it. A future where all devices don't contribute to the growing problem of e-waste, but instead are part of the solution. Thank you.
They accepted uh, the air RMA. What? RMA? 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 RMA. 